Hello and welcome to Paratech Products Pediatric Hearing Testing Equipment Portfolio. Hello, I'm Jim Perringer, audiologist and creator of Paratech Products. I want to thank you for your interest and support of our contribution to the field of hearing testing so that more children can benefit from better testing and treatment. Paratech started as a design lab for specialty products in 1979, working in the areas of communications and hearing health care. While completing his graduate studies in audiology, Jim Perringer created the first Reinforcer VRA system in 1980 for a research project. Combining the elements of innovative design with an expanded feature set and superb product performance, it grew in popularity as the most versatile and easy to use product for pediatric VRA hearing testing. Today, Paratech products are used by audiologists, pediatricians, researchers, and pediatric clinics around the world as the gold standard in pediatric testing systems to assure accurate and reliable results. Visual reinforcement audiometry is a test that allows a clinician to assess hearing in infants and toddlers too young for normal hearing tests. VRA relies on behavioral conditioning to train very young kids to respond to sounds. It is designed for children aged six months to around two to three years old. The XM5000 is an innovative toy-based VRA system that offers wireless control over many stimulation variables, such as LED light patterns, motion, and sound to attract and stimulate the child. There are a few versions of this product available. The standard XM5000 system, the Quad XM5000 system, which has four reinforcer boxes, and the XM5000 package systems that include centering boxes. This product is designed to operate using wireless infrared control signals, like that of your TV set, or wireless radio frequency control signals, like your garage door opener. They both work identically, but can use different signals to operate in different environments, where lighting or radio interference could affect their operation. They can be easily converted to other control methods should you experience interference or erratic operation without having to uninstall them. The XM5000 BRA system is packaged safely in a compartmentalized box with each reinforcer box in these slots. The bag of accessory items, including the remote control and operator's manual, and a centering box if ordered. A centering box can always be added on in the future and is controlled by the same remote control. The owner's manual will identify which system you ordered, XM5000, IR, or RF, or Quad, and the remote control will also have the model number on it. Each system includes the following, two reinforcer boxes, two power supplies, two power extension cords, and one Y power cable. The XM5000 IR system will include a wireless infrared remote control, two 24-foot male-to-female cables, Y-cord, and two IR sensors. Each reinforcer box is marked with a red dot for the right side and a blue dot for the left side. These reinforcer boxes can be mounted in the corners of the room directly over the sound field speakers or flat to the sidewall of the testing room. The reinforcers should be mounted approximately four feet from the floor or to the level of the head in a seated position and be directly visible three to four feet away from the position of where the child is being tested. To install the XM5000 VRA system in the corners, you will need to order corner mounting brackets supplied in the optional installation kit. Pre-drilled screw holes make it easy to mount the reinforcer boxes to the mounting brackets or directly to the wall. The XM5000 VRA can also be mounted using a desktop stand, roller stands for portability, or dual arm mounting brackets to reposition them as needed. Also, they can be integrated into a compact, elegant loudspeaker called Elite 
that blends in the VRA system into a small footprint when in use and hides it when testing adults. The next step is to run the power supply cables from the outlet in the test room to each reinforcer box. Power right angle 14 foot extension cables and power Y cord adapter is included to run both units off of one power supply if necessary. For XM5000 IR systems, run the 24 foot male to female cables from the blue jack on the bottom of each reinforcer box along the walls to the location of the audiometer. Position each IR sensor a couple of feet above the audiometer on the window or wall so that it is within the aiming range of the remote control when it is held in the tester's hand facing up. Depending upon the height and handedness of the tester, these IR sensors may be repositioned for optimal detection of the light signals emitted from the remote control. Test the remote control from the testing positions to assure proper operation. Please note the remote control can be used inside the room or booth as well for activating both the RF and IR VRA systems as each box has an IR sensor built in to pick up these IR signals directly. For the XM5000 RF systems, run the 24-foot male-to-male cables from the blue jack on the bottom of each reinforcer box to the wireless RF receiver module positioned in between the reinforcer boxes and away from any metal that may interfere with radio frequency signals. The cables and RF receiver module can be secured using wire ties away from metal objects. Test the remote control from the testing positions to assure proper operation. All VRA products from Paratech products are plugged in and tested as a finished product, assuring high quality control and minimize failures in the field. On occasion, rough handling during shipping of the product may cause some issues, but they are easily resolved. First, check to make sure each box is receiving power by reinserting the power connections and looking for a small red on the sound card. Use the right angle power extension cables for a secure connection if there is minimum clearance for the cable. Second, check visually and verify that connectors and cables are seated properly as they may have come loose during shipping. Third, if the front plexiglass window was removed for installation, double check that the ribbon cable is repositioned correctly as shown in the photo. Fourth, if both boxes fail to operate, then look for the common elements in the system like the remote control, please check the batteries, Check the IR sensors to see that a built-in LED light comes on whenever the right, left, center buttons are pressed. And check the RF receiver module for LED activity and unplug cables to the module and reinsert them to reset the module. The wireless remote control provides all adjustable features of the system right in the palm of your hand. Prior to testing, select which stimuli settings you wish to present to the child. You could start the test with minimal stimuli and then add or change the stimuli to keep the child interested throughout the test. Lights activates the backlight on the toy figure. Action controls the toy figure movements. There are four options. Sounds select up to nine different sound files. Cycle time keeps the stimulus setting active for four seconds. Left, right, center activates each reinforcer respectively. To preset volume presentation levels, a volume increase decrease button is located on the bottom of each reinforcer. The VDS-3000 High Definition Video VRA offers a multitude of colorful action cartoon images on a large 15-inch monitor to captivate and retain the child's attention. There are a few versions of this product available. The standard VDS-3000 HD system, the Quad VDS-3000 HD system, 
which has four reinforcer monitors, and VDS-3000 HD package systems that include centering monitors or boxes. This product is available to operate using wireless infrared control signals, like that of your TV set, or wireless radio frequency control signals, like your garage door opener. They both work identically, but can use different signals to operate in different environments, where lighting or radio interference could affect their operation. They can be easily converted to the other control method should you experience interference or erratic operation without having to uninstall them. The VDS-3000 BRA system is packaged safely in compartmentalized boxes. The bag of accessory items, including the remote control, an operator's manual, and a centering box if ordered. A centering box can always be added on in the future and controlled by the same remote control. The owner's manual will identify which system you ordered, VDS-3000 IR, or RF, or Quad. Each system includes the following, two reinforcer monitors, two power supplies, two power extension cords, and two dual arm mounting brackets that easily mount to the back of each monitor with four screws, which are supplied. The VDS-3000 video IR system will include a wireless infrared remote control, two 24-foot male-to-female cables, Y-cord, and two IR sensors. The VDS-3000 video RF system will include a wireless RF remote control, two male-to-male 24-foot cables, and a wireless RF receiver module. Each reinforcer monitor is marked with a red dot for the right side and a blue dot for the left side. These reinforcer monitors come with dual arm mounting brackets, so they can be mounted in the corners of the room directly over the sound field speakers or flat to the wall of the testing room and repositioned to desired locations when needed. The reinforcers should be mounted approximately four feet from the floor or the level of the head in a seated position and directly visible three to four feet away from the position of the child being tested. To install the VDS-3000 video VRA system, it comes with dual arm mounting brackets, which are included, to mount directly to the wall with easy repositioning of the monitor to the desired position. The VDS-3000 video VRA can also be mounted using a desktop stand or roller stands for portability or to use in multiple rooms. Also, they can be integrated into a compact, elegant loudspeaker that blends in the VRA system into a small footprint when in use and hides it when testing adults. The next step is to run the power supply cables from the outlet in the test room to each reinforcer box. Each monitor should be plugged into an outlet to supply each monitor. The optional video installation kit includes 15-foot power cables to accommodate larger rooms. For the VDS-3000 video IR system, run the 24-foot male-to-female cables from the dual jacks on the back of each reinforcer monitor along the walls to the location of the audiometer. Plug in and position each IR sensor a couple of feet above the audiometer on the window or wall so that it is within the aiming range of the remote control when it is held in the tester's hand facing up. Depending upon the height and handedness of the tester, these IR sensors may be repositioned for optimal detection of the light signals emitted from the remote control. Test the remote control from the testing positions to assure proper operation. Please note, the remote control can be used inside the room or booth as well for activating both RF and IR. An optional IR sensor can be plugged into the back of each monitor to permit the tester to activate the video VRA system inside the room as well. For the VDS-3000 video RF systems, run the 24-foot male-to-male cables from the dual jacks on the back of each reinforcer monitor to the wireless RF receiver module positioned in between them and be sure to keep it away from any metal that may interfere with the pickup of radio frequency signals. 
The cables and RF receiver module can be secured using wire ties away from metal objects. Test the remote control from the testing positions to assure proper operation. Centering boxes are designed to complement all VRA systems and provide a means to redirect the child's attention away from the reinforcer boxes monitors as they are waiting for the figures to light up and reappear. Depending upon the level of stimulation, we offer the LPC200 that features a bright yellow duck that lights up when activated, the LPA600 that offers a lighted dog that rotates with varying patterns of LED lights in the background, and dog barking sounds. The VDS510 video centering monitor offers the same level of stimulation as the video reinforcers with brightly colored action cartoon clips. A flush mounting wall bracket is included with the video centering monitor. All centering options can be added at any time to any of our products and will be controlled by the same remote control that was supplied with the system. They will work with either RF or IR control signals. The wireless remote control provides all adjustable features of the system right in the palm of your hand. Prior to testing, select which stimuli settings you wish to present to the child. You could start the test with minimal stimuli and then add or change the stimuli to keep the child interested. Lights activates the attractor light bar. Action turns on the video display. Sounds turns on sounds that accompany the video. Cycle time keeps the stimulus setting active for four seconds. Left, right, center activates each reinforcer respectively. To preset volume presentation levels, a volume increase decrease button is located on the bottom of each reinforcer. Paratech Products offers two additional products to aid and assist in performing VRA hearing testing. The wireless sound room monitor is a miniature earpiece and microphone that can be used to communicate to the caregiver or assistant working with the child. The wireless system is inconspicuous and easy to use to guide the child's attention and cooperation during the test. The wireless kid cam uses two miniature color cameras and a seven inch color monitor that offers the tester the ability to view the child's attention and head turn for clear confirmation that they heard the tone presented. The kid cam is particularly useful in booths with obstructed views and lack of assistance in the booth. Ergo is the new wireless patient response switch that allows an effortless gentle touch response button that provides a light and vibrational feedback while eliminating another cord from the testing process. The rechargeable ergonomically designed handheld response button operates over two weeks on a charge. It sends a confirmation sound and or LED light signal to a small receiver located near the clinician conducting the testing. It can operate on a standalone signaling system or plugged into an audiometer that has a response light built in. The ergo can also be used in testing special populations that have difficulty with conventional push buttons and can be used with children in conditioned play audiometry to reinforce good listening behavior. To use this system, simply place the wireless receiver near the audiometer to monitor the patient's responses then give the handheld response button to the patient.